Welcome back, y'all. If you have not already subscribed, please do subscribe and join a part of the family. Also, if you haven't been watching here lately, my entire area here is going through a little bit of surgery. So lighting is a little bit weird. You can see my shadow when I hate it. Um, everything is weird. So please just be patient and know that everything will be back to normal here in the next few videos. But today we have a very special video that was requested by you guys when you all seen that I got the Nemya bundle, the whole collection for $98.99 plus shipping through Black Friday. And I believe that there may still be some available. I even got a pop socket with mine, um, all for $98.99. And I thought that it would be really fun to really review these products today, tell you guys what I think about them. I have been using them now for about three weeks. So this is a very honest review and I can tell you whether it is actually worth your coin or not. I'm going to apply everything in underneath my makeup because that's what I normally do. And I'm just gonna tell you guys how I use the product. So I have went ahead and clipped back my bangs. And without any further ado, or any more jib jabbing, I'm gonna take a sip of my iced coffee and you guys are gonna watch the intro video. <laughs> going to work is it's going to work like a lot of my other review videos so if you've been here for a while and you've seen my review videos then you know typically when I do a review I'm going to go in depth and review the actual products and we'll speed through the rest of the tutorial but you guys really like it when I keep the tutorial in so I will still keep the actual tutorial in and then we'll give my final thoughts at the end of the video first thing that I'm going to start out with before primer or anything else is actually from the Nimia collection and it is this product right here. This is what the component looks like. It does have the Nimia logo on it and it is called the Brr, Brr Cooling Eye Stick. I love how um, extra it is. Also love all of the components. Everything is very much like this vibrant blue and very vibrant orange. I really like that. And this is to be explained to be a deep puffer, but also a under eye primer. As far as this product goes, on a scale from one to 10, which is how I'm gonna rate all the products, I give this product a nine. This is, next product is a dual product. So this product can be used just as a moisturizer, it can be used as a primer, or it can be used as both. This is the Nemia Where It All Starts Cream. Again, this is in that beautiful vibrant orange and vibrant blue packaging. It looks like a crystal. Now, I do want to talk about the scent and the texture first because I've seen a lot of people make comments on it and I want to give you the, the true tea, the actual truth. Okay, number one, this is not in any shape, form, or fashion cottage cheese, okay? It does not give me cottage cheese. It does not give me ricotta cheese in any shape, form, or fashion. It is very much giving me like, the best way that I know to describe this as far as the way it looks is like a vanilla frosting type vibe, but it's not that thick. It's much thinner. It's like a marshmallowy type of vibe. Now the scent, you have to imagine you're in a two-story house, right? Your grandmother's, your mom's, whatever. And someone downstairs is baking cookies, but you're in an upstairs bedroom with the door closed. And you get this very faint smell of sugar cookie. That is what this smells like. Mm -hmm. okay. And I was putting, because I am gonna use the serum before anybody even asks, but I have been enjoying putting the serum on top of this moisturizing primer. Um, you do whatever feels like works best for you. Try it both ways. I will say that I really like the component. I really like the texture and I'm obsessed with this primer. Now the next one, this is my favorite piece of the collection. This is the Nemia License to Glow Serum. Again, it is in that beautiful orange and vibrant blue packaging. You do have a pump and you also have a peek through here on the side. I have been using this for a month, you guys, and there's literally just like that much out, like hardly any. So I'm obsessed. You get a lot for your bunk buck. This is very heavy. All of this packaging is very, very bougie vibes. Um, without that bougie price tag, Nikki said that they went 
as very low on price as they possibly could. But I do just give it a really big shake and it is this stunning blue serum. I absolutely love it. And I don't put on as much underneath my makeup as I do it not, but I do still go in. Look how beautiful that makes your skin. Also in the collection, you do get a hand fan. It comes with a little mount so that you can set it up on your vanity. I don't even take the mount off. I just hold it with the mount. It does have three speeds and honey, it gets very strong and it's so nice. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and speed through. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and we will be back to test the final Nemia product and to give you guys my final thoughts. popping in here because I'm having the hardest time with this Juvia's Place palette. Um, everything is super patchy. There's a shitload of fallout. Like I would even go as far to say more than the subculture. I just sprayed some MAC Fix Plus on top of the shade Makeda. Um, but I'm having to like go in to make anything happen. And the only reason I'm going in with the shade Makeda is because the shade Zobo, that maroon shade, like purpley shade, it had zero pigment, none. Um, it was super, super patchy, absolutely horrendous. I am super disappointed in this palette. I've heard Nikki Tutorials rave about Juvia's Play, so I really wanted to try it. But I'm being really, look at this fallout. Like, I, I have never in my life experienced such. And it's like nothing is happening. So now I'm gonna try to get all of this off of my face. Bitch, are you kidding me? Put some more makeup remover.
So it has gotten dark outside. The lighting looks like shit because my whole setup is incomplete. Um, I don't know if certain clips recorded. So if you did not hear, this palette is junk, okay? I don't know. A lot of people have a lot of good luck with Juvia's Place. But me, I do not. I never have any good luck with Juvia's Place. You guys do not know what all I had to do to get this look to even get to what it is. I can still see purple in underneath my eyes. It's just shitty. It's not a look that I would go out in public with at all. It's definitely not a look I would typically even come on here with you guys. Now, the last product that we are gonna try from the Nimia collection is the Set It and Forget It spray. I'm gonna be really honest here and say that I am disappointed with the spritzer. A spritzer that I like is, this one right here is my favorite. I have ordered, this is now my third bottle. This is the Dragon Beauty Forever Fantasy Setting Mist. And the reason why a lot of people didn't like this one is the smell, I absolutely love it. I think it smells incredible. Even if you like throw it in your purse and you like need a perfume like in a flash, this is a really good scent, I think. I love it. It's not too strong in my opinion at all. Um, it's definitely not MAC Fix Plus. It's not like that fresh scent. It's definitely more of a perfumey scent. Um, this is more of like a sweet sugar cookie scent, but the spritz on it. That is my issue. I've tried shaking it really good, wiping it off and everything, but there's always like, I don't know if you've seen that. Do you see? There's like a big strong shot that comes out the first time and it causes little spots to get in your makeup. So if you've ever experienced like those little spots with the setting spray, well, I don't know if it's just mine, mine's malfunctioned, I don't know. I hope that's what it is. So if you have gotten the setting spray, let me know, did you have the same issue? Did it take your makeup away? or do you love it? Let me know what your guys' thoughts are because my personal experience with the setting spray, I don't care for it. And for that reason, I only use it with my skincare at night. It does have some really good ingredients in it. So I will use it at night on top of all of my other skincare, but I don't put it on top of my makeup. My Dragon Beauty Forever Fantasy is still my favorite setting spray. So, Considering that this is considered a setting spray, if you use it as a setting spray, I bought the entire collection, so I already have this setting spray. I would not go out and buy this setting spray again. I would, however, go out and buy the eye, eye stick. I would go out and buy the serum 100%. I would go out and buy the moisturizing primer 100%. So, Considering that this is a setting spray, I would not go out of my way to buy it again. I'm gonna give it a two out of, out of 10. And I really hate doing that because I love the rest of the products. But again, if you have experienced differently, please let me know because that could just mean that I got a malfunction bottle. And if that's the case, please for the love let, of God, let me know, please. But yeah, I highly recommend it and everything will be linked down in the description box. If the bundle is still available, I will also link the, that down in the description box as well. Anyways, guys, thank you all for hanging out with me. Sorry that the setup is still weird and the lighting is weird and there's a shadow of me and all this shit. I'm sorry. I love you guys very much. Thank you all for being troopers and sticking around. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and join a part of the family. And while you're down there subscribing, turn that notification bell on and become a part of the Morgan Shay notify gang 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 honey also down in the description box are links to all of my social media if you would like to follow me on a more personal level i love you guys oh so much and until the very next time darling bye